The Gamma team is complete. Red Hulk has arrived in Marvel Strike Force. And in this video, we're taking you through the Scourge event. We're taking you through the last node and showing you what we've used on our initial run just to get that unlock. And more importantly, we're taking him into war. So if you're ready for all of that Valley Club, see how good Red Hulk is, then you know what to do. Find that like button and let's go smash it. Valley Flyer. Hello, Valley Maniacs. What is up? Hope you're having a great day. I am Valley Flying. Welcome to the Valley Flying channel. And today is Red Hulk Day. Yes, Red Hulk and his War Scourge event has finally arrived. And surprise, surprise, it arrived on time and as far as i can tell no bugs there may be some bugs but i haven't noticed any so let me know if you have noticed any now if this is your first time here hit that subscribe button for more great marvel strike force content we have at least five marvel strike force videos per week on this channel and if you have already subscribed welcome back we're talking all about this scourge event now before we get to that war re uh, the war battle we're taking that full gamma team into war Let's go take a look at this Scourge run, my initial Scourge run. So this is not a high scoring run. This is just to get the unlock. And this is what we use. We're gonna go through node by node, show these teams I use. So first node I use Web Wars, pretty easy getting through this node. Next node we went down and used the Symbiotes. Or oh, we actually used the Symbiotes. Then we use the... Uh... All right, so the first mission, we went ahead and used the Web Wars. Wasn't sure what to use, just kind of an experimental mission. Next node, we use the Symbiotes. And let me tell you, node two, no scourges except for that last one equip. Well, uh, it was very, very easy with this Symbiotes. The Symbiotes actually, in my opinion, performed better than the Web Wars. Now, it may have been the difference between Node 1 and Node 2, but Symbiotes did very, very well. We use our Young Avengers because we already have we have all of them built up for that Rogue Scourge event on Mission 3 and Mission 4. They did pretty good, and they're super overpowered. Uh, on Mission 5 for difficulty 7 with one Scourge equipped, well, we use the hero as Guardians, and my goodness, that Thor just smashed through a lot of uh, characters there especially with this stun. The villain missions are probably the easiest of the bunch. We went ahead and used Dormammu. Now we did have that one Scourge equipped. This was with no revive once. So Dormammu did all of his stuff except giving the other characters revive. So we went ahead and used Thanos just for that energy distribution. We actually placed him in the center. So I'm not sure why he's uh, off to the side there, but Omega Red, Lady Deathstrike, Morgan Le Fay, and Dormammu. Next, we use pretty much the same uh, team there. Uh, yeah, we just switched around the placement a little bit. Uh, yeah, but he was in the middle, so I'm not sure why he's on the side there. Next, we went ahead uh, for the skill nodes. We used our skill raid team, Secret Avengers, Shang-Chi, and Kestrel. And then last note, we went ahead uh, and used our heroes Avengers. So let's go ahead and uh, take you through the battle here, just so you can kind of get a glimpse of what you can expect when you do your uh, initial run and when you do your final run here. So let's go through uh, all of this and see how they do. And I gotta admit, they were pretty impressive. And uh, now this was difficulty seven. I think our final run will be somewhere in difficulty eight or difficulty nine. I don't think we're gonna get all the way to the difficulty 10. And there's some enemies here. Uh, we got a full bionic Avengers. We have rescue there who, who can clear off all the debuffs off the enemy team. Uh, Viv Vision flips the debuffs, so those are my two premier targets. And the battle doesn't exactly go how I expect. We're looking for the chain. Doesn't get as much chain as I want. And um, yeah, we get the big attack. Now, wondering who do I stun here? I want to stun Viv Vision, but she is in stealth. So we go ahead and get the kill on rescue. Just so she can't clear any debuffs that we will hopefully eventually apply to the enemies. We got a big taunting uh, bishop there. Then comes, we. there's a there's two Hulkbusters here. So we eliminate the first one there uh, soon. And that lots of damage by Thor. We actually took him up to gear 16 before this because uh, he's the big damage dealer on the team. We actually did not need to use our wave one Avengers, uh, at least for difficulty seven with where we have them built up. As we're uh, finishing up through this, still have to worry about Bib Vision because she can flip the debuffs. Jubilee has a big stun. She has some blinds. And there is the final remaining Hulkbuster there. So not a full team. There goes Jubilee. And yeah, lots of stuns here. The big AoE attack from Thor. 
taking out uh, most of the team there. Just have a uh, Deathlock to worry about and a Hulkbuster, but that Hulkbuster is stunned. So this is pretty easy work here. Now, what is not going to be easier? Maybe it is. We haven't tested them in war yet. So we're going to take these guys into war and there is the unlock for uh, Red Hulk. Let's go back into the game right now. And this is where we have them built. Now, this is the only room we can attack in this war right now. And I think this would be the most impressive win. So let's go ahead and see if my unbuilt, unsynergized Gamma team going after a 200k punch up. And if you if we look at the Gamma team here, let me uh, just move them to the side so you can see where they are. We got a big Hulk. We were we were building him up in anticipation for this Scourge event. Uh, we didn't actually need him though. We have a not as big She-Hulk, but the biggest, uh, second biggest of the bunch. Then we have the rest of the team not built properly. Now we did end up putting all the T4s on Red Hulk. We went ahead with Striker on Red Hulk. We don't have all the T4s to get him up to uh, ISO 8 blue, but we, he is war ready. So he's on level four. Let's go ahead and put um let's go with red hulk in the middle i guess let's put these two on the sides and then hulk and she hulk i guess we'll place them on the ends because these are two powerful characters and they have the taunt so hopefully this works out this is in the name of science are they capable of this when they are fully built probably should be a very very easy match but the question is in this video are they capable of it in their uh, non-ideal builds yeah we don't have a lot of power in red hulk yet only those three stars no red stars yet let's see what happens here guys this is in the name of science and hopefully we'll, we'll get a glimpse of how strong this gamma team actually is now hopefully and i think they can take out dark hold and dorm hold and some big teams like that once they are fully built especially with that removing of that revive once mechan let's put this into 3x speed actually let's throw this into 1x speed so we can see some of the animations here of some of the newer characters uh it's actually going really slow here all right here we go big battlefield the uh, not the battlefield event this is the uh special here barrier on primary targets 350% damage, offense down two turns, speed bar by 10%, clear revive once, repeat this attack. All right, let's go right here. This goes for attacking and adjacent targets. So let's go Echo, uh, so let's go Kate Bishop here, and hopefully we could get to Squirrel Girl. That's usually the biggest on this team. That is a nice animation. Looks like the Hulk should uh, animation should be on there. All right, not a very big move there. Yeah, and that should have been expected. I should have been expecting that with that very low sub, uh, very, very low built Red Hulk. All right, so this one is a chance to apply stun, war defense. Yeah, we're not going war defense. Attack all enemies. I like this one, although if we don't get an ability block on Squirrel Girl here, this is, uh, all right, let's, let's use this 50% chance, 50 chance to apply stun on Squirrel Girl. Hopefully this works. Hopefully he has enough focus. Uh, he does not. What do we have here? We have heal block, immunity, death proof uh copy three positive effects excluding taunt all right so we don't really have a good way to remove the ability block let's use this ultimate here stealing health from the primary target stolen give it to gamma allies and remove negative effects we don't have negative effects except on hulk and she hulk right now let's see if this does enough damage to squirrel girl to really make an impact not yet all right, let's use this big move here. We have a stun, and hopefully this works. Hopefully this will apply the stun and the taunt to Squirrel Girl here. All right, we get the stun, and we do get the taunt, which means that this taunt on Miss Marvel doesn't do anything. All right, do we do this one? Yeah, let's get this taunt here. Or, or do we go ahead and get this big move? No, she's not going to do that extra damage because he's not in taunt. Let's get that taunt on uh, normal Hulk here so that the rest of our team, the rest of our weak team uh, can take their turn. All right, so yeah, we actually, Squirrel Girl actually took a turn. A taunt is gone, unfortunately. That's not good, but it looks like Miss Marvel may take a turn here and then Squirrel Girl, yes, that does not remove the taunt though. Oh, all right. We're gonna have to get to Squirrel Girl. She can remove all of these things right here. And hopefully we get enough turn to get that battlefield effect going. There's those charges there. He has five charges. I don't remember how long it is still that battlefield effect. Now, when he's fully built, we're gonna get a lot of damage coming because uh, 
it's based on bleeds that he applies and it's based on the stuff that he does all right so this i'm not thinking this is gonna be a huge move but he's gonna get a lot of bleeds it's probably gonna be based on his damage and his, the attack is gonna be based on his damage so not a lot of uh big moves here but this is uh or not a lot of huge damage coming from red hulk yet Oh, and as I say that, look at all the trauma heal blocks. This will definitely take out those dirty evil heroes for a hire. Let's go and uh, keep working on Scroll Girl here. I'm not sure if she's taken a full turn yet. I know she hasn't used her special or her ultimate. I think she was stunned while she uh, took her turn. All right, uh, attacking the primary adjacent targets. I think we go here just so we can get three targets instead of two. Although that may be the wrong move. Uh, Squirrel Girl is still the primary target here, not Kate Bishop. All right, the taunt is off of our Hulk there. That means that they could, they could get to our team there. She does not use her uh, special there. She actually uses her ultimate, applies offense down. None of it sticks except to Brawn. All right, and now she's taking a turn. She's removing most, oh no, no. I forgot about the trauma, the, the heroes for hire counter there. I love that. Yes, this is not getting off. Now, she takes another turn. She's going to remove that from herself, although the bleeds may be killing her. All right, let's use this very weak Red Hulk and does very little damage right now. <laughs> All right, let's continue. I think we're going to win this battle. The timer is going to be an issue here. So we're going to have to speed this up here, guys. Let's uh, continue to work through this. Lots of annoyance from the Young Avengers. And we may have to hit this in auto just so we can get through this entire battle here. Squirrel Girl is still a threat. Will we win? Will we uh, lose? I think we're going to win. The only thing, we might time out here. So we need to hurry here with this battle. Uh, and we have some lag from the blue stacks. There's 16 seconds. Still not taking a turn there. Will we at least take out Squirrel Girl? Will this be a good test? Will this be a successful test? We still have not taken a turn. All right. Uh, let's at least take out Squirrel Girl. There she goes. So, yes, they they are a good team. They can take out the Young Avengers if you're not talking and timing out and things like that. So, uh, I think this was a successful test, even though we did not win the actual battle there. But that is the unlock. That is our initial gameplay through. Uh, we're probably gonna wait a little while, let some other people go through, find the best strategies to get our uh, final run for this. But uh, I would say even at this low level, this Gamma team is pretty impressive. Let me know your thoughts on the team, on your footage. There was some misplays, obviously, because we, this is our first time through. And talking a bunch, did not pay attention to the timer through most of the match until there was like 40 seconds left. So uh, that would have changed it, but at least, we took out Squirrel Ground. That is a good thing. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it makes your experience going through these scourges a little more enjoyable. And hopefully uh, you get your own Red Hulk very, very soon so you can start taking out some of these dirty war defense teams. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button for more great Marvel Strike Force content. Like I said, at least five Marvel Strike Force videos per week on this channel. Uh, and I will see you guys next time. Make sure you check me out on Twitter. If you want some awesome merch, make sure you check out the link for T Public. They got sales going on there all the time. And I'll see you guys next time. Get that Hulk fist bump. I'll leave flying out. Have a great day, guys.